Welcome to this Polygon Maps video. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. Tableau's filled map feature creates polygon maps quickly and easily. We simply double click on the geographic field of interest. Here we'll use country. This defaults to a symbol map. If we add a measure, like profit, to color, Tableau automatically makes it a filled map. However, if we switch and put a dimension, say market, onto color, we have a symbol map again. We can force this to be a filled map by changing the mark type. Sometimes our maps need custom territories. For example, perhaps we want to do analysis in Africa based on time zone. Each country, except the Democratic Republic of the Congo, falls into just one time zone. So here we have a map at the level of country. To create our custom, time zone-based territories, simply select the countries that make up a territory and group them. Repeat to identify each territory. Please forgive any inaccuracies here as I select, and I'm putting all of the DRC into central. I'm also speeding this up. Notice that the grouped field shows in the data pane. This field functions just like any other group. See the video on grouping for more information. Now, because we want to use just the time zones, regardless of specific country, we can remove country from the view and just use those custom territories. Multiple custom territory groups can be created and even nested. To learn more, refer to the online help. What if the analysis we want to do requires non-standard geographic areas and custom territories won't work? To map those areas, we need coordinate data and information on how to connect the coordinates. Certain fields are required to create a polygon map. I like to think of it as a series of connect-the-dot drawings where each polygon is a separate drawing. The dataset has to contain specific information for Tableau to know what lines to draw and where. Latitude and longitude are the coordinates of each point in the polygon, or each dot in the connect the dot. The point order field tells Tableau which dots to connect and in what order, like the numbers on a connect the dot. The polygon ID field will identify individual enclosed areas letting Tableau know which points make up each drawing, essentially when to lift the pencil. This can be as simple as the name of each area. The key point is that each polygon needs a unique identifier. Depending on the complexity of the polygons, it might be helpful to have sub-polygon IDs as well. Multiple enclosed areas can roll up to a larger area. For example, Greece has many islands, each of which would be their own polygon, but on a world map, we'd want to know that all those islands roll up, together with the mainland, into a single country. TableauMapping.bi is a great resource for polygon data, and the data set we're about to use is from their UK repository. Now that we know what the data needs to look like, we can start building that polygon map. Here we're connected to polygon data for the national parks of the UK. If the ID fields are showing up as measures, simply drag them into the dimensions area of the data pane. This is a key point. This forces Tableau to treat these measures as discrete instead of values to be aggregated, as measures would be. Next, change the mark type to polygon. Bring point ID to the path shelf. This connects the dots in the dot to dot we're drawing. Place the Polygon ID field on the Detail shelf. This breaks up each set of points into individual polygons. If present, we'll do the same thing with Sub-Polygon ID. Next, we'll plot the latitude and longitude coordinates by double-clicking. Finally, drag the unique identifier for each polygon onto the color field. In this case, that's park name. And here we see the UK National Parks. Thank you for watching this Polygon Maps training video. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.